Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Ivaldo Grimp here and the International Women's Day chest is in the store and you might be like, oh my god, a chest with a 100% gold character chance, this is amazing, hold your horses because we got a lot of garbage characters that are gold and are in the game and are also in this chest. So in this video, we're going to dissect the International Women's Day chest and we're going to decide on whether it's worth it for yourself to buy. And then we're also going to take a quick look at the uh, special offers that uh, that's very similar with to this, but it's uh, with real money, that being the only difference. But yeah, let's uh, get uh, into uh, the chest first of all. So... We got over here a chest which guarantees you a gold character will have 2.5% um, chance for Harley and Entangling, 5% chance chances for um, uh, Power Girl and Silver Banshee, 10% chance for uh, Flora Poison Ivy, uh, Energized Typhire and War Queen Wonder Woman, 10% chance for Dark Supergirl, uh, Unhinged Harley Quinn and Powered Supergirl, uh, and 12.5% uh, chance for Sonic Black Canary and Master Thief Catwoman. As you can see, we got a lot of characters in here. At the very least, uh, this is one of the few chests that tells you all the characters you can drop from this one. And they are all gold, and you'll get them at 3 stars, which means 160 shards. Do keep in mind, please, that uh, last year uh, it was uh, reduced in cost. It was like 300 or 350. Now it's full price, it's 450, so that's something to keep in mind. So now what will we do with all those characters? How do we rank them? Well, uh, I got the tier list for the occasion. I know I pretty much got tier list for anything, but yeah. Looking at this, we're going to have some characters and uh, the uh, great uh, factor of having those characters is going to be determined on whether you already own them or not. So for some people, some drops are going to be good for others, they're not going to be. Let's start from the top. So first of all, we're going to have Harley and Entangling Poison Ivy. Uh, those are going to have together, not each one of them together, they are going to have a total of a 5% chance to drop. And uh, they are great characters, hopefully you do have their gears, because they were uh, recently in the arena. Sorry if you don't unlucky, their gears are pretty damn hard to get. But if you do have their gears, and even if you don't, those are very good drops and very good characters to have on the long run. Those are in the top 6 teams for both raids and sword raids. So those are going to be great drops no matter what. So everybody that opens the chest, unless you got the max, of course, if you got those two max, then I don't think there's any reason for you to open this chest. But um, uh, if you don't have those maxed, uh, then, uh, and a lot of you don't, then those two are going to be good drops for everybody. Now, moving down a tier, we're going to have Power Girl and uh, Silver Banshee. Unlike the previous ones with Harley and Poison Ivy, uh, Harley and Poison Ivy were chest exclusive, meaning that for the most part, except some special events, you can only get them from chests. Now, Silver Banshee and Power Girl are going to be, yet again, great characters. Again, in uh, one of the top 16s for both raids and sword raids. But the difference is, is that they are constantly available through the uh, League Store and Challenges. And while they are, yet again, amazing characters, they are going to be uh, easier to get on average than the previous ones mentioned. And at the same time, a lot of you guys are much more likely to already have those, but not have uh, the ones above. So nevertheless, those are going to be good, but they're going to be good on one hand only if you don't have them or have them at a very low star rating. And on the other hand, they're not such a long-term investment as the other two in terms of spending gems to get them. Because if you don't spend gems now, you will eventually end up maxing them out much sooner than you would max out Harley and Tangling Poison Ivy. So those are maybe good. Those are still good drops if you do not have them uh, maxed or close to maxed. So, like, the first two of them were good for, let's say, advanced players. Uh, now those two are good for intermediate players, so let's say. Uh, and now... And of course, both of the categories are good for new players. And we'll get into the last category that matters, which is good if you're a new player. So yeah, if you're a new player, just starting out, those three characters that I picked over here are going to be uh, particularly useful for you in Arena and Champions Arena, helping you out uh, throughout the early parts of the game. Uh, so we got Starfire, which is going to be a great tank, it's going to heal, it's pretty much hard to die while using Starfire, so that's gonna be great. For our Poison Ivy, has got an Armor Pierce Special 2, which is uh, one of the greatest uh, Special 2s in the game in terms of Arena capabilities. And then we got Warwick Queen Wonder Woman with a shield in Armor Pierce Special 1. 
those are characters that uh, you do not need to have. You'll be able to get them through challenges and uh, arena. Now, actually, all uh, arena store with uh, Integral Impose Navi. But overall, if you get them, they are going to be a tremendous help uh, throughout your first weeks of playing in Just a Mobile. So that's something to keep in mind. And then we got a dumpster fire tier. And I know I could have put Dark Supergirl in the good for new players, but I just don't. I don't like her. She's garbage. But yeah. In the Dark Star of Art here we got characters that are going to be not even good for a new player. Like, look, if you just started out an account, any gold character is going to be a, gold, a good gold character. Any gold character is going to be a gold character that you're going to use. But those three suck. You're still going to use them if you're a new player. Don't get me wrong, you gotta get those arena points, but they suck, and you'll be aware of that. Dark Supergirl, trash passive, not properly done. Uh, Master Thief Catwoman, trash passive, doesn't do anything in the fight. Port Spurl, trash passive. Uh, trash kits overall for all the three mentioned previously. Uh, then we got Sonic Black Nary, the second worst character in the game. And then Hitch Harley, kind of a useless passive, like if you kill an enemy with her you take control of it, but if you kill it you don't really need to take control of it. But yeah, those are jobs. So, overall, if you are going to open this only for... Um, Harley and Tangling Poison Ivy don't, because there's a better League of Anarchy chest for that. If you are going to open this for Harley, uh, in Tangling Poison Ivy, Power Girl and Silver Banshee, you can do that. Like, 15% chance is a pretty good chance in the terms of Ingest to Mobile chests. And if you are a new player, definitely do open this. You got a lot to, join, uh, to gain from this chest, and you can't really go wrong with it. So yeah, go ahead and do that. And also, if you do open it, Make sure to submit it in my Discord server, record it, maybe upload it on YouTube, as on list or as whatever you want, trust me, it's easy to upload on YouTube, and send it towards me via my Discord server, links will be in the description. Now, getting into the special offer side of things, we got a Women Power Bundle, and uh, it's going to be just higher chances for the good stuff that we had in the previous one, and a 2% chance for Gordon Armour Wonder Woman. I see what they did there with that $6.9 price, I, I see what you did there. Uh, but yeah, nah. Th there's a lot of garbage you can get from here. I wouldn't even recommend this for a new player. Like, there's been far, far better stuff uh, in Ingest to Mobile in terms of bundles so far. Though, let me double check. Does it give only one character? Yes, it gives uh, only one character. It doesn't give multiple ones. It only gives you one character and some materials, and this amount of materials is garbage. That amount of credits won't, gi won't get you far, not even one epic talent. That amount of materials is garbage also. Uh, so yeah, this is this is overall trash. Like, if you want to gamble for gold, even if you want to gamble for gold and armor Wonder Woman, I think there were better bundles to do that. So yeah, please do not buy this. And yet again, if you open the chest of the International Women's Day chest, please do record it, send it via my Discord server. Thank you so much for watching, please do like, comment, subscribe, because that helps a lot. A lot being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.